So this was the class we had created computer C1 equals to new computer and uh, computer C2 equals to new computer C1 dot type and C2 dot. So this is the stuff which we had done right now out here just one minute. Okay, so uh, I told you that reference is different and object is different. Okay, if uh, object is actually uh, hanging in the memory, like for example, if I write like this, then you cannot use it. You have to have an uh, have the reference of the object to use the object. Fine. Now in the class. I can have also have a function. For example, I I make a function public void print details. Okay, and inside it I write the command system dot out dot print and then type os USB ports. Okay, now uh, if you go to the client, right, and if I write over here C1 dot print details and C2 dot print details. So when C1 calls the print details function, okay, the print details will print the details of C1 type OS and USB port. <clears throat> Is my voice breaking? Is my voice breaking for everyone? Bivas, just check your internet or make sure that there is no electronic device near your speaker, okay, such as mobile phone or something, right? So, uh, right, so when I'm writing over here, the command type OS and USB port, okay, it will print the type of PC, the operating system and the USB port as well, right. Now it depends, if C1 calls then it will print the type OS and USB port of C1, if C2 calls then it will call print that. It depends on which object it is, which object is calling, if I run this see it prints for C1 and C2 if I execute it. Right now, there are some things in a class. There are some things in a class. Uh, yes, Madhuri, you will get the recorded video. Okay. Now, there are some parameters in the class which uh, are common for all the objects. Right. For example, uh, for example, there is a parameter called int number of hard disks. Now all of us know that every PC has got one hard disk, right? So in your client, if I write like this, C1 dot number of hard disk equals to 1, then C2 dot number of hard disk equals to 1, C3 dot number of hard disk equal to 1, doesn't make sense because by default every PC has got one hard disk, right? So what we do is that for such properties, we make these properties static. Static, when you write static, basically it no longer remains part of the object. It is same for all the objects. I can access the static property like this. I can write over here computer dot number of hard disks equals to 1. I can write the name of the class dot the static thing name of the class followed by 
the parameter number of artists equals to 1 i hope you are getting my point okay so when you write like this for all the objects it this is the same property for all the objects the number of hard disks will be 1 right so static stuff is common for all the objects and it can be called directly with the name of the class computer and the name of the parameter right? the other things these these are known as non static you, in order to access non static you have to create the object of the class fine i hope you got my point all right so all right so let's move forward okay now how this concept of object oriented programming is used in selenium if i make a new class over here selenium basics right and i write over here in this class new Firefox driver. Now, Firefox driver is a class which is already present inside Selenium. This class is responsible to test your websites on Firefox. I am creating the object of this class. I am getting an error. You just move your mouse over the error and you will get the import option. Select that and this class will be imported. Actually, this class is imported from one of these jar files. Okay, it's, it's present in one of these jar files. It is imported from here. Okay, and I'll not get the error. Now, when you write new Firefox driver, and when you run this, when you run this, you will see a new Firefox browser opening up. Right? So, this browser, when it opens, okay, you can control this browser if I want to take to take it to any website I can do that but basically I wanted to say that even if you just create the object of this class a new Firefox browser will open up now you give it a reference for example Firefox driver f equals to new Firefox driver right so with f you can access all the properties of the Firefox driver class for example you can write f dot you will get these many functions these all functions are present inside the Firefox driver class. For example, I write f dot get. Get is a function you supply the URL over here. HTTP, say Yahoo dot com, and this will take Firefox to Yahoo. Make sure people do a mistake; they don't mention the protocol. They just write Yahoo dot com. This is not QTP. In QTP, you can directly write the website name, it will work. But in Selenium, you have to write the protocol, it is mandatory. Okay, when you run this, see that? Right, so it goes to yahoo.com and after going to yahoo.com maybe you have to click on a link or any other thing you can do right I'll, I'll talk about it similarly there is a class known as chrome driver you can write chrome driver dc equals to new chrome driver as the name suggests this will help you to run the program on chrome Okay, you can import the Chrome driver class as well. Fine. And when you run this, this will give you an error. One thing I want to tell you is that suppose I am writing Chrome driver C equals to new Chrome driver, and if I want to import, I can move my mouse over it and import it. Fine. 
over here as well i write firefox driver f equals to firefox driver i move my mouse over it and i get import if you need to know the shortcut and if you need to import it in one go then the shortcut is control plus shift plus o if you hit control shift o of keyboard in your program everything it gets imported automatically you see that i hit control shift o so it got imported sometimes your friend gives you a file or a code snippet which you copy in your program and imports are remaining so you can just hit control shift o of keyboard and everything will be imported automatically right now coming over to the point that if you write chrome driver c equals to new chrome driver and if you run this you will get an error first of all when you get the error don't be afraid now, i have seen many people they just get afraid and they simply drop me an email that oh my god what has happened there's some error is coming up look i know you guys have some of you might not have done programming ever in your life span but the thing is it's not very tough just look at the error very carefully it is clearly mentioning over here if you read it carefully that the error is on selenium basics.java line number 18 if you click on this it will also highlight the line right and read the error the path to a driver executable must be set by some property read the error completely if you don't understand it Right. If you don't understand it, copy the first line of the error. Go to Google and paste it and search. You will get hundreds of answers. Fine. Right. Now, uh, apart from this, hold on. right as a, as i say you can copy and you can paste the url and you will get hundreds of answers now apart from this if you want to know what's the real cause i'll tell you you can simply go to the website serenimhq.org and <coughs> go to the download links and i'll tell you how to fix it you you see this line third party drivers not developed by serenimhq you can go to any of these uh, drivers for example chrome opera so yeah i'll talk about chrome right now you go to the chrome driver link downloads hold on yeah so there is an exe file which you need to download for chrome i'll just download it depending on your operating system you can download it I've downloaded it and I'll keep it in my and keep it here. When you extract it, you will get a file known as Chrome Driver dot exe. You don't need to run it. You don't need to execute it. Okay, just copy this path. Find where it is lying on your PC, and you type over here the line system dot set property web driver dot chrome dot driver and in this you have to give the line that is in f drive selenium versions you have a file known as chrome driver dot exe so you have to set a system property system dot set property the path of web driver dot, everything is in lower case this is case sensitive okay everything is in the lower case and you give the path of your chrome driver dot exe now uh, what is system system is a class it's a inbuilt class and set property is actually a static function inside this class that's why i'm able to call it directly with the name of the class dot the function name you had seen it over here right where to access the static property number of hard disks i ks oh, that's a spelling mistake anyways um i i that i wrote directly computer dot number of hard disks so similarly over here you can write system dot set property system is an internal class and you are setting the property 
this. Now, when you run this, you will see that the Chrome will successfully open up. You see that? Fine. And you can also write c dot say get to the website. Same if I want to go to yahoo.com. You can go out here as well. And when you run this, you see that it will move to Yahoo website. Okay, so that's great. Fine. Now, um, similarly, there is another class known as Internet Explorer Driver. Okay, now this is a little tricky. There are a few things. Uh, I've got IE7 on my PC. I think it will work on it if I directly open it. Okay. Just hold on. I'll comment these three lines. And now when I run this, I can get the error, some error in uh, I driver. In I driver also there is an exe file. This exe file you need to download from the Selenium website. Okay, same uh, Selenium HQ.org under the download section. You will have this thing known as Internet Explorer driver server. Based on the version, 32-bit I or 64-bit I download. I'm not talking about the operating system, but the I version. Whether it is 32-bit Internet Explorer on your PC and or 64-bit. Like for example, on my PC, you can check out by going to help about I. I unfortunately have a very older version right now, I6. Right, so you can also check it out. I6 is the worst browser available on the internet. <laughs> Many of you might be knowing about it, right? So when you run, get the version 32 bit over here, you can get this and hold on. Similar to similar to Chrome driver.exe, I driver.exe is also there. Okay, what you need to do is that you need to write over here system dot set property web driver dot i dot driver and the value to set it to the path of i driver server dot exe fine so when you run this You see that it opens up I, right? You can take it again. You can again take it to any website. Say, say I dot get to the URL HTTP, say Gmail dot com or whatever it is. Fine. So these are the drivers which are available with us, right? There are other drivers as well. For example, there is a class known as HTML unit driver. You might not have heard about it if you have worked in Selenium. Like it's a class which works in the background without opening browser. For example, if I write HTML unit driver H equals to new HTML unit driver then I write out here h dot get that means go to the URL http gmail dot com right so when I run this when I run this you will not see any browser opening up but behind the scenes you know it sends a silent request to the website gets the response and it runs behind the scenes right it will never open a browser for example you are uh, you need to run your selenium script on a unix console okay there is no uh, no browser over there right there is you, you don't have a browser in the unix console so over there you can use an html unit driver which will send silent requests to the website and get the responses. So it's basically for that usage. Right? In the headless mode, you sometimes you say that you run this manual headless mode. Fine. 
Now, apart from this, there are other drivers as well. I'll go to the documentation and I'll tell you. Hold on. You go to the Java documentation of Selenium out here. And over here, you will see that. Hold on. There is a lot of things. Even I don't remember all these classes. Okay, don't worry. You don't need to remember all of them. As per the project needs, you need to search in the documentation. Learning e about each and every class is not important, but learning how to read this documentation is important, right? Whenever I am stuck, I read this documentation. Like for example, there is a class known as Web Driver. It's an interface. Basically, I'll tell you what an interface is later on. But if you look at it, these are the classes implemented. Like Chrome driver is there. Event firing web driver. This is uh, quite interesting. If you have some mouse gestures and all which you want to do, then you use event firing web driver. Then Firefox driver, HTML, I driver, remote web driver, Safari driver. Safari driver is for Safari browser and not so successful. Okay. Many of the things are not working in it. It is not so stable right now. All right. Then you have remote web driver. Remote web driver is basically used in grid, right? When you have to run the test cases parallelly. Apart from that, in the four version they have not mentioned. Hold on. Okay, they have removed Android driver from here, I guess. In the 2.4 version, I don't see Android driver. This version just came up. I think they are putting it somewhere else. A lot of things are going up behind the scenes. They have removed Android driver, it looks like. Maybe I'm wrong, but in the earlier versions, it used to be over here. Maybe I'm wrong. Or let, let me check, check out my system. Hold on. Yes, they have removed it. Probably because, you know what? A new version of Selenium is going to come up, Selenium 3.0. Right, so Selenium 3.0 came up and is going to come up. Probably they are going to put it in it. And I've heard that in Selenium 3, they are also working on introducing mobile based apps into Selenium testing. Right, let's see what happens. I'm not sure what will they do, but they have surely removed iPhone and i drivers from here. Right, so. Um, not sure, right? Okay, let's let, let's see. Fine. Now, uh, so these are the various drivers. Okay. Now, talking about these uh, drivers, like for example, I open up a Chrome, and if I want to click on a link in Chrome, fine. And if I open up I, and if I have to click on the same link in I. Will the process be different because the drivers are different? Will all of these driver classes have separate commands in them? So there are a few questions which come up in our mind. For example, if I have to type into a text field using Chrome and if I have to type into a text field in Firefox, will the commands be different? Okay. The answer to this question is actually no, but how, how do we come to know about it is actually from a concept of interfaces in Java. If I talk about the concept of interfaces in Java, then you will come to know that all these driver classes have the same commands. Okay, so um, now anybody with any question, please feel free to, I know there are a lot of questions people are not asking because this is the first batch in which people are not asking questions. Otherwise, in the previous batches or something which I had, in the trial classes, people used to ask a lot of things. Any questions? Pratibha, have you joined the meeting three times or are there three different Pratibhas? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 
can there is a question being asked can we run all the drivers at a time in one class yes you can if i come un uncomment all of these things and run it all the drivers will execute it's not that i can also run two firefox drivers at one time i can write this and i can also write in the next line firefox driver f1 and firefox driver f2 f2 i will take to say msn.com so when i run this i will have two drivers one will open firefox browser it will take it to yahoo then the next line will open another firefox browser it will take it to uh, msn see that one browser is going to yahoo and the second browser will open and it is it will rather go to msn <clears throat> okay right okay there is another question being asked what if we get some pop up okay pop up handling i will talk about it every window which is opened in selenium session has a unique window id okay it is a unique window id and that window we will we, we can actually switch between the windows with the help of window ids usually what kind of test we do in web driver now this is a very very uh, generic example what kind of test we do in web driver it depends on kitesh generally automation tools they automate the manual test cases right and we use it right venkatesh at this stage i cannot give a test example because to do that i need to to tell you about some framework like test ng or j unit framework at this stage i cannot tell you right uh, can we have the test data in the excel and call it okay fine the questions which are being asked to me are towards the real time testing okay the questions which are being asked to me are actually from the real time testing fine uh, will it be able to open tabs and i'll i'll talk about sorry I'll, i'll talk about that but let me talk about something right now hold on which i think is necessary for all of you considering the questions which are being asked okay in real time what happens in real time when you get a real project from a client you have got test cases okay so these are the test cases say this is test case 1 this is my test case 2 this is test case 3 test case 4 test case 5 Okay. Now, when you have to run these test cases in real time, first of all, the data for these test cases comes from an external source. For example, it comes from an Excel file or an XML file, whatever it is. Okay, right. So the data is fed from an external source into these test cases. You always keep your test cases separately from your test data. Okay, then. you have a requirement that you need to generate reports html reports that is what happened when you were running these five test cases okay then also you need to generate logs okay logs are something for example if your script is running for 10 hours you need to know right if something fails in between so that all the information goes into logs and after the script is over you can check out the log that what happened in between right apart from this you need a particular order in which you want to run the test cases okay now sometimes there can be a situation in which you just want to run the first test and after first test you just want to run the fourth test and then the fifth test right so to cater to all these requirements we use the framework okay we use a framework in between which acts as a controller this is known as the test ng framework or the j unit framework or bdd is also there in this bdd you have tools like cucumber you have 
j behave right so what the central component does right what the central component does it actually gets the data from the excel file it's co it calls the corresponding test case whichever you want to run in a sequence it calls them in a sequence it passes over the data to that test case it generates the reports it generates the logs right so it's like a controller in between okay now where is selenium in this complete picture out here is this is selenium just a moment this is selenium in green box so we are learning the green box first we are not learning how to do the testing right now we are learning how to interact with the browsers selenium will only teach you how to interact with the browser it will not teach you how to generate reports logs or read data or execute the test cases in a certain order so that thing is i'm not taking it up right now what i'm talking about is simple selenium interacting with the browser how to interact with various kinds of browsers right so by the end of this course we will be doing we will be looking at the complete picture as well but first have the basics clear that's what my main more goal is right now okay i hope you are able to right understand which framework you are going to focus on look in industry there are various types of frameworks okay there are frameworks such as uh, data driven then you have keyword driven keyword driven as an individual it's hardly used we use something known as hybrid framework which is mixture of data driven plus keyword driven right then you have framework called as page object model then you make frameworks based on bdd this bdd which i talked about so there are number of frameworks obviously in the online class i cannot discuss each and every one of them because of the time constraints in the recorded videos i have discussed all the types of frameworks okay so depending on what uh, people want when we start with framework i'll talk about the one which everybody wants i'll go by the majority okay what are the things which i'll cover in the complete course well giving you a brief overview what i will be covering in just two to three lines i'll be covering java i'll be covering the concepts in web driver everything multiple browsers multiple windows frames web tables interaction with with components mouse movements everything related to web driver i'll talk about we'll do lot of examples and uh, then we will talk about any one of the frameworks like test ng or j unit or bdd depending on what you want and uh, then we will make a real time uh, project which which can be any data driven framework or a keyword driven framework or a hybrid framework right or a page object model depending on what people want but in the recorded videos i have covered all of these things okay right what is the difference in hybrid framework and test ng hybrid framework is made using test ng pratiba don't get confused hybrid framework is made using test ng when i tell you you'll get to know right now it's very tough for me to tell you okay are you planning any doubt clearing sessions i organize doubt clearing sessions every sunday the information about the timing of the doubt clearing session is there in your account when you log in into your account the information is there can we run test cases for multiple different web drivers together if you want to run your test cases on different browsers it is always better to use selenium grid because this way grid can handle multiple browsers in a better way rather than using web driver okay this is my personal experience right and test ng as a framework 
it is more compatible with grid so if you plan to use grid in your project then i would obviously suggest you learn test ng all the examples and all everything is there how about cucumber cucumber is also used in uk market cucumber is very famous i have seen this somehow i'm not talking about us but in uk market they law they ask a lot about bdd cucumber then uh, jb have also right it's it's a very powerful tool i don't know why people they don't use it everywhere else cucumber is actually bdd bdd is implementing using cucumber or jb have it is very interesting and it is uh, very very powerful as well Okay, I have discussed this in the tutorial. Generally, to be very honest, generally in online class, I don't teach cucumber because people they don't want it. But in the recorded videos, I have talked about cucumber. Yes, Grid Two is basically meant for web driver. Seeker, Grid Two is meant for web driver. Okay, there is a very good question which is being asked that. in a batch some people have programming concepts and some are not having what is the best so it it is time waste for the one who knows programming look it is not time waste obviously because in a batch what i have seen is 80% of the people they don't have a programming background okay now out of those 80% there are some people who can cope up with what i am teaching if you are if you can cope up with whatever i am teaching today then it is okay fine you can go forward right if you are having some questions in this then also it is okay but if you are really confused today in, in the class then to be very honest i i would suggest that don't go for this course okay rather get the videos in the training videos in the first seven videos i have just talked about java i selenium actually starts from the 11th module okay so if people who already have programming background for them obviously this course will be very beneficial if you don't have a pro, pro programming background then there are two options with you you go for the videos first then you join the batch right That's the thing. Are you covering almost all this? I am covering the complete core Java, Melvin. Right, I am covering the complete core Java. If you are, if you are knowing Java, then this course will obviously be very beneficial for you. You can join the online training directly. Right. Otherwise, if you are very much not in confidence or you are you lost the confidence, then you can go for the recorded sessions and later on join the course by paying the remaining fee. Right. Your session is two. It's a two-hour session on every weekend. Right. generally on the first day people ask a lot of questions so it's more of a question answer session for most of the times right it's a two hour session every saturday and every sunday four hours a week in um five to six weeks we'll cover um chitra just go and watch the video number 1 your answer will be your question will be answered just watch this if you are not at all comfortable with java or any programming language just watch the first video in this i have explained a lot of things which will answer and clear a lot of your doubts if we sign up for the class can we repeat classes if we are stuck in between look that's why i record the classes melvin if you are stuck in the class and if you are not able to follow up you can go and look at the recorded session of the class okay <laughs> what are the current job opportunities in selenium and future of selenium for next 5 years if i talk about the future of selenium for next 5 years i have no doubts about it that it's going to be very good right open source tools they never die so easily okay if you talk 5 years back nobody used to ask for selenium and now if you look at 5 years hence i have been training people since 2009 and i have been working since a long time it's a lot of time i think 2002 2003 i started working so uh, i've seen market growing up and selenium has seriously grown up and its demand will obviously increase 
right now this again a very good question can we record the code in ide and copy and run the same in eclipse yeah that is a good question right so yes bay area has got very good opportunities melbourne california and all it's quite good right now uh, i'll answer this question this was a good question which many people ask me that if in ide there is a feature in selenium ide i don't know if all of you know about it i'll tell you about that feature you can record the script in selenium ide okay and you can convert the script into web driver code and you can execute the web driver code so this looks very good because in selenium ide you record the script you convert the web driver convert the script into web driver code and execute it in eclipse and it looks very fascinating because you don't have to code but tell me one thing you how practical it is suppose you have a website like this one bbc.com now all of us know that what bbc is it's a news it it it's a news channel right this is the website for the channel now every day the complete contents of this website will change this website is going to change every day if you record it today you run it today but tomorrow are you confident enough that your script will run right yes chitra we have that option in id in the file menu it is convert this recorded script into web driver okay but i'm i'm talking about a practical problem over here which i have also faced this complete website is going to change tomorrow are you confident that it will run tomorrow on your web page so that's that's the point so that's why people use web driver because almost all the sites today are dynamic sites they are, they are not static sites okay right got it pratibha so sorry uh, rajji pratibha is asking question do you help to get job in selenium look i <laughs> uh, if i help to get job in selenium A lot of people have got jobs after the course. A lot of people have not got jobs after the course. Sometimes consultants they approach me. I forward the resumes. Sometimes companies also they approach my website. I forward the resumes of my students. Right? Look, if you have, if you are searching for a job, what I know from my experience is, if you learn this tool for two months, practice it genuinely, then you will obviously get a job. people when they join my course they have a mental background that okay fine let me do this and within 4 weeks i'll be selenium ready and i'll get a job no it will never happen like that do it for 8 weeks 9 weeks practice then start giving interviews in companies you will definitely be able to get a job i am i am very sure about it if you practice it properly because i've seen a lot of students getting job how long is this course then this course will last from for 5 to 6 weeks kiran okay oh oh all right patil all right so this uh, this course will last for 5 to 6 weeks okay fine is there any selenium certification or some evaluation exam manoharan actually there is no selenium certification there is the problem with this tool it's an open source tool there is no certification for this tool like utp has got a certification but selenium has got no certification okay so right the next thing which i want to take up a lot of questions have been asked i think people would have okay how do i join this course there is another question being asked um look you can go to my website utpselenium.com and there will be a contact trainer link over here you click on this link you fill out the form and submit your information i'll contact you to get your get get, you, get yourself enrolled in this course Uh, i hope people who have already enrolled in the course have got a user id and password by now okay if you, if you haven't got a user id and password for videos please let me know 
it's one person per account for the videos don't share the login details with anyone fine what is the kind of support given after this course look i have a forum where you can post your questions or you can email me i respond back right so if you are stuck somewhere right so yes it's after you register you will get a user id and password Yes, practice means working on Java and Selenium both. Kiran, Kiran, you can pay using PayPal. If you're outside India, you can pay using PayPal. I'll give you the PayPal payment. You can just contact me through my website. I'll tell you how to pay. That's not a problem. Yes, Kiran. Question and answer sessions are on Sundays. The timings and all are mentioned in the login account which you have. Okay, you can contact me through the contact trainer link of the website, and uh, you will get it. In future, also, if you have any questions, you can reach me through the contact trainer link, and I definitely respond. Yeah, it's a lot of questions. Uh, Manoharan, I am not able to understand your question. Okay, what we lose if we buy videos? Okay, a question is being asked. If we only go for videos, if you only go for videos and you don't get the online training, what are you missing? You're not missing anything. Whatever is in the class is there in the recorded videos as well, and uh, whatever is in the class is there in the recorded videos, right? I think to to tonight we are going for a timing change in US, right? I don't, Shaker. I don't. In a batch, how many participants? Maximum twenty-five participants, right? Robotium. I am preparing, Melvin. I'll uh, do it later on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, yeah. So, like, what will be the case? Like, uh, you will shift forward by one hour, right? You'll shift forward by one hour. So tomorrow the class will be at. I'll give you the timings, 9 p.m. Indian time, which will be 8:30 a.m. Pacific time, which will be 11:30 a.m. Eastern time, 8:30. Chitra 8:30 because. Um, The clocks they move ahead by one hour, right? That's why. Bevas, can you please ping me your email ID? Okay, so the class will be held at the same time according to Indian time zone. Your time will be uh, moved ahead by one hour. Bevas, I will call you after the class. Okay, so yeah, you just just telling you, you will get an email from me as well. Okay, so all right, I think we can end up the session today. Okay, so yeah, the batch timings remain same throughout the tenure, throughout the co tenure, the batch timings. Yes, Manohar and I will provide that. Okay. Yeah, it's true. You can come online on Skype. I'm on Skype right now. My Skype ID is QTT Selenium One. If you have any questions regarding the course, you can also reach me on Skype after the class. Okay, I'll just unshare my desktop. Uh, 